Hey everyone and welcome to today's movie review. So today I am going to be watching for the first time a film starring John Goodman called The Babe which is all about the career of legendary baseball player Babe Ruth. So yesterday I traded in the Waspnado and what was that other film called? T Apocalypse Tomorrow and I got a voucher refund voucher for those movies and then I went browsing around the store and I picked up this the babe and another movie that I will also try and do a movie review for so let's start with this one the babe so I've never seen this movie so I thought let's stick it in and have a look at it so let's have a look at the main menu okay so we have the main menu here no music so we have bonus features here what's that let's have a quick look at that so it's just the trailer for the movie so let's just play the movie or play ball Okay, so just finished watching the movie The Babe, and uh, what did I think of it? Well, I really, really enjoyed it. What I will do is, first I will try my very best to go through the story with you, best I can. And then I will give you, at the end, my rating for this movie. So, the movie is a biopic for the legendary baseball player, Babe Ruth. And it goes through his baseball career but it starts off at the beginning with Babe Ruth as a seven year old child being taken to like an, an orphanage for boys, a school where he's left and during his time there he picks up, it, that's where he first picks up a baseball bat and uh, develops a kind of love for the game and skill and he's in this, is it an orphanage, school orphanage or whatever it is, for about 12 years when he is scouted by the Boston Red Sox, I think it is. And they sign him over and he then becomes really, really good at the game, hitting home runs after home runs. And he becomes very, very popular. And... He had this kind of wild lifestyle uh, where he sort of lived for the moment. You know, he'd go out drinking, partying, any time he, he wanted. He just felt he wanted to do that. There was no l limits to him. And he eventually falls in love with this girl and he sort of pushes and pushes and eventually they bond and they become man and wife and he still has he doesn't really settle he still kind of still has that kind of wild life persona you know going out partying all the time but uh, he again becomes even more popular in the game of baseball 
and he then gets sold to the New York Yankees for $125,000, which at that time was massive. And it, at one point in his career, he was earning more money than the president of the United States, which is saying something. And he, you know, becomes huge. And there's a scene in it where this little boy who is very ill in hospital and he goes to his bed and he, he gives him a sign ball and he the little boy asks him to hit two home runs and he does it and you don't know if the little boy gets better or not until the end of the movie. His relationship with his wife does become strained and stretched and he tries to have a child of his own but eventually they he adopts a little girl and they call her, call her Dorothy and to try and you know re repair their relationship their marriage and it kind of works for a few years until eventually she snaps and she leaves him because she's had enough of his you know his ways and a few years later she dies in a house fire which is very sad because then he takes over full custody of the little girl he does remarry again and he has another daughter I can't remember what the name of his second daughter was but he has another daughter and he retires at the end of the movie on a good form and I really enjoyed this movie. John Goodman did play a very good part in this film. Ruth, Babe Ruth is a story that I am very unfamiliar with. I've never... I do know who Babe Ruth is. It's just that I'm not a person who likes the sport of baseball that much. I'm more into wrestling, WWE, other things. But, excuse me, this was a film that I saw yesterday and I couldn't pass it. I had to pick it up and try this movie. And I'm really glad that I picked this up. As I said, John Goodman was very good in this movie. Very, very good. It also stars Kelly McGiles, who was in Top Gun. And... Uh, she was quite good in this as well. So, yeah, a really, really good, enjoyable film. Really, really glad I picked this up. So, I have my own little baseball here. What's it? The a Bronx. I actually picked this up in a charity shop not that long ago. And uh, I thought, I think this probably was the inspiration for me actually picking this up, the babe. Uh, but... Uh, you know, I've got my own little baseball here, Bronx. I'm not a fan of the Bronx. Uh, I just saw it in the charity shop and thought, it's a baseball and it was my chance to own a ball. So I picked one up. I was in a indoor market and there was a bloke selling a few balls from there and he said, they're all genuine balls, but I don't think... I could be wrong, but I don't think they say on the genuine ball that they were made in China. I'm not sure. But he was he was adamant that they were genuine balls. But anyway, back to the movie. Really, really enjoyed it. Would definitely recommend this movie if you're into like your sports games. Sports sports movies rather, not sports games. But if you do like them kind of movies then this is probably one that you'll probably want to pick up really good if you like biopic movies as well or if you're a fan of John Goodman then this is definitely a film to get and watch so the movie was on for an hour and 49 minutes it was a PG and uh, it was made in 1992 this movie so quite an old film I'm a little bit older than this movie so uh, yeah so what would I give this movie as a rating out of 10 well, I would give this movie a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. 
really enjoyed it. So yeah, that's it for this movie review. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe for more videos. And as always, until next time, take care and thank you very much for watching.